Voted nouns. The ESL challenger are on a nine series win streak. Wow. Joda. Short side, A site. Three players in front of him. The Beretta sink. But that second set doesn't actually get a kill. So two frags the way of Sharks. Could bode well for an early pistol victory. But Henny. Oh, a little bit more chip damage on that bomb planter. It will go down, guaranteed. The retake begins. BRN slides past. In behind yellow. Gets the headshot. More players to deal with. And they'll clear that one out. Now CT's pushing past the elevator. At least able to get a few feet closer. And Nisam dying now gives one side of the site back over to MIBR. It's the ramp peaks. As Henny taps that bomb to elicit the information gained. The defuse tapped again. Togs has to come at it and exit. There are the sharp ones. Wow. This one just in general kind of sloppy, but exit kept it clean. This is incredible because one kill... And he's got no HP, so unless Exit does all of that, it's over. Ice cold. No chance you're getting that 10 second defuse. So well done for him because. Ooh, love it. Love it. It might be hard, might be hard to read. Around the world, but unfortunately for Che, loses vision. Exit. Holding them off for the time being. Rumbunctious B split using the run boost. It's nice for an entry. Man, advantage held by MIBR. They're going to hold off on quad. Exit just inside all these fights. DRG's Deeg connects. Two versus three with Joda on one point of health. Definitely not comfortable. Molotov there could buy a little bit of time before the retake gets rolling. Question will be, do they suspect that JNT's this close? Does he even give him a chance to push in? He could swing it on his own terms, strike him down. Joda's going to be an easy one, or should have been, but he just gives it the jiggle. DRG, fresh mag, pops up, goes down wow. to BRN, and MIBR, the 2-0 start. On an individual level, that was incredibly well handled. I like the spots a lot there from Sharks in the post plant. Interesting game last time around with MIBR. Jota had a pretty unreal series as an individual. Pistol Man gets cut down, so does the bomb and the AK. Quickly exchanging hands. Ooh, Che. Looking for his timing to strike one off of middle. He gets it. Penny comes in through elevator room. Togs also finds one with the Desert Eagle. And now a 1v2. Finished quickly. BRN. No time. Oof. Turtle. Careful now. Che, he's going to find it through the wood wall. Is that the trigger? You got five players ready to rock Safe into the piece. going on here, so. Oh. Ooh, Henny loses. That's his spot, too. <laughs> right behind that pillar. No surprise to find him there. The majority of MIBR opens a door in middle that Exit doesn't really want to deal with. A kill through smoke could save things, especially as Exit picks up the next one. Nisam now going to get pinched as the CT peak soon enough comes through. It is Turtle doing it on his own. DRG the last man up. I love the protocols. I love the calls. I love the strat. I love the execs. Little support back behind him. BRN. Gonna lose the first duel, and he's got the trade. Another challenger appears, and there's more where those come from. Yoda decides to throw himself into the fray. Nice double kill. Felt like Henny was about to get swarmed, and instead, CTs walk away four versus two, and they don't shy back into the bomb site entirely. Crazy how we can hear trains from this high up. Ooh, he's climbing over the wood. Oh, he gets there. And the reload made easy. So, Turtle all of a sudden, feeling good. Will still fall to the AK, exits in the open. Another teammate here, ooh, things get scrambled. Joda shoots Exit's legs out. Man, advantage off the back of that, Sharks. I thought with Turtle doing what he did, they had it, but then the next two players just kinda get caught out in the open. And BRN gets caught out by the op, so here we go. Sharks, two guns, a 4v5, and yet they recover. Yeah, they kind of, well, they, they messed it up, to be frank. They had three players. Ooh, BRN flashed through, didn't see it. And with that, Che comes out from the trenches with an opening kill to drop one of the guns as well. Henny, this could be a moment from him, but fire destined for him. He's going to go swinging round. He does at least what? take togs. Oh, my. I Very killer headshot. Didn't look like he was going to get it, but finds it in the end. 30 seconds left. They can't get that gun back for Joda. 
He's got a teammate behind with the M4. Oh, oh shut up. That's what he's looking for. Just the one chance at impact to at least bring it back even 3v3. He could dive oh that my ball. God. Oh, get it. On. Through smoke, through the wall. And get in, in a critical moment at that. Bomb picked back up. JNT's hands busy. Turtle, he's flanking short side, and that's a back turn from Che. Inside sight, they're down. And Jota with the lesser weapons, baby. He's an assassin. You know, the sad irony the of that same is... same spot that caught MIBR off against them. Nicely done. And that's, of course, once the teammate of DRG has already left. So no trade potential on that one. Smoke on the stairs makes the push in weird. They've got a hold. And all they have now is this bottom B control, so... Feels like MIBR figuring it out, but Turtle doesn't take a forward position. Sometimes we'll see him on triple or he'll be over towards quad. This time he's just kind of leaning back where the rotators came through last time this went south. So I feel like if anything, Sharks have actually been given a nice little bit of space to make this play happen. Now they're starting to press in. Che has yet to spot a body, but they are right there. You can't see him, you can smell him. Joda, oh, just sitting in the pocket. And Togs gets the quick trade right back. They could boost over for vision. JNT, oh, double, oh, oh, oh. sees exit on top, pops oh. Turtle before he has a chance to dismantle that boost. BRN sliding past. He's got a back turn, easy pickup on the deepest, Jeez. and a little more damage. So Henny has been primed for a one versus two versus lesser health. And does he know? I think, oh, maybe he doesn't know that there's someone generator. Oh, now he makes does. a mistake. JNT, he might have given this up, but the time is now taking low. He's done a good job of delaying. He's got to go now. I think he's got to get out. Too late. Sharks squeeze another out of this B site. He's looking for his hop. And that, my friends, is just because the boost. Well, an opening tactic is successful. And here, our Sharks will leave a smoke just to say, hey, we could be taking short control. And the CTs are still watching over it. So quite comfortable to leave mid relatively open as Jota passively spots. And they'll draw or bring the attention now over to Turtle, who is one of the weaker guns of the round. He's up close on high alert. Ooh, helps that Exit gets one, but Turtle's going to go down with nothing. And Exit, ooh, pressing in instead. I feel like we've seen MIBR just kind of retreat back two steps. And this time, they force the fight on the forefront of the bomb site. And JNT 1v3, gunned down by BRN's rotation. Sharks playing this one silently. Now Che is going to crawl in close. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. straight beneath BRN. Oh, his head showed up. <laughs> just wow. inside the smoke. His head showed up, like, well inside the smoke, just because the whole BRN is also in it. A little bit more info here. Yeah, he sticks around. It's, yeah, I think you gotta peel back. They just know. Uh oh. Oh, he's still looking for you. Man, he's just omnipresent. Tog's gonna look for that mid walkout. Gotta he's go. got a chance to squeeze this back towards Turtle, but losing the bomb right then and there. Henny gets activated, and so will Tog's. But time. again, B site belongs to them. No time, no bomb, no chance. That is an eighth. Exit with the construction angle. He's got three players on the other side of that corner. Two of them with lesser weapons. But sees a bunch of utility plus the run boost. So numbers being confirmed. And Exit, that's an easy shutdown versus Togs. Turtle could have gotten killed just now. Does get finished by DRG. Chase not able to get over for free. How is Joda still alive? Because he's got teammates. That's why coverage Dude. is key. Take it, take it Joda right You're gonna there. Be happy not to just only. play this one point blank. Hello. BRN with the opening. Sandbag player activates. Jota catching him left, right, and center. Not to mention, still pressure through the wall bang. So, unfortunately for Sharks, this one's starting to fall apart. And it looks like it'll continue to go that way unless Togs and JNT bring it back with lesser guns and lesser HP. How do they get that bomb back? They're stuck here until they can grab it. Jota puffs his chest, sets up exit. Tog's sidearm, not nearly enough, and MIBR will finish this half have on... to rely on this defense. They are the ones that took us to Vertigo, and they've got a curious little setup with Che now popping out from behind sandbags, and Tog's deep in CT with the opening kill. Damn, I love that setup. That, that was... How are you supposed to... You can't clear the sandbags guy, and then the guy behind him 
first he, contact. He's standing between two planks, like you can barely see his body. So it's going to leave MIBR to double this one back. Going to try to play from the B ramp. Util, one smoke, one flash. Defense, three frags. Please let this be a retake, just for the sake of utility oh, usage. Oh, yeah, true. Pretty They're so ready for this. They're just spotting A right now. See if Nisim is. He hasn't seen it yet, but there's actually a player already up close. Super close. There oh, it is, Joda. Joda. Point blank with the Glock headshot. Smoke for right side generator. He's going to keep applying that pressure. And JNT finds one on the fallback. There's the first nade. Where's the next one? A little less damage on the follow-up. Still a flash to try and push in with, but oh, it goes south! DRG with the team flash on Chase. Still a chance, as it is health advantage, but Exit, who's been playing lights out, has Turtle ahead of him to finish off what was left of JNT. DRG, 1v2. They've lost track of him, but now they know he's close. Turtle just dancing behind cover, and DRG is trying to press in, Ooh. but it is MIBR with a second pistol but not afraid to get aggressive. Chase down, that happens over on A ramp. Multiple bodies about to peek Neeson, so I mean, he is committed here. There's no running. He's gotta just hold that ground, and it's only one kill for him. Man, advantage held on to. <sighs> that was a tough spot for Neeson, uh, for the attack coming in, because, you know, farthest possible position from the choke point with no teammates there. And MIBR will waste no time with the follow through. Completely blanketing generator with smokes. The bomb site is just engulfed in fire. Only place Togs can play is right there, and play it he does. Two kills as he is forced to hold the ground in the open. The rotate wants to boost over. Nicely done. But they've pushed Exit, who has had a 24 and 6 game so far, into what could be a nasty 1v2 clutch. This is insane. There's no way he's going to win this going back to A, surely. 24 and 6. Maybe I should be watching, not analyzing. Let's see what's on his mind. Well, JNT's playing it passive. Yeah. So, front sight it. could be his. Smoking to flash to get in or out of the plant. He's, and out, he's outplayed him. They're too, far to, they're too far to challenge him right away. And they're thinking he wouldn't do this. So, that alone makes it a, a great move. So, hey, interestingly enough, exit. I'd be a little scared. Press tab for a second. 24 and 6. Got more kills than three of these guys. <laughs> Gets away. Of course, Shark's going to have to be cautious about all of these close corners. Right, he gets to his good spot Did on the ramp. Anything? No, still just the flash. But they're going to have to start working in, and he could section them off. Just saw a little bit of skin, so expectant of the jump up. That's a first one. Smoke on top of the bomb. No kit. DRG, five seconds away and exit. He doesn't realize what's going on. So that defuse all the way through. Exit. He's got the individuals. He's got the crispness in the aim. Wow. He clears out both players, but DRG just got to business and stuck that 10 second. If he uh, dies, he then they lose their incendiary and one of the two flashbangs. So maybe just get that util out. Throws it forward. As sharks start to creep, Joda uncontested. There's the contact, and he's not going to survive it. DRG still has the cover and still has the teammates to help. And IBR going to keep trying to press into it. Ooh, nicely done from DRG. All things considered, two kills from that position. Seeing as he was squeezed from the get-go. It's Turtle's chance now. They could line up. Just peeking his little head over top of this. Short player getting a little bit isolated. Chase starting to peel himself away from it. They're going to forfeit the bomb site itself. And potentially need a retake. Got a boost back site. They, they have two players up there now, maybe. Yeah. Che trying to throw MP9 shots through smoke. Turtle. Oh, Chase coming at him. Ooh. 
Gun's not gonna go back up. He gets the plant, though. It's Henny into the clutch. A little bit of damage both ways. Hanging on. Short peek comes through, and Henny never sees it. It is a sixth for Sharks. Good on. Good on, Shaper. He's gonna drop the nade. No damage. And CTs still look a little hesitant just because middle really wasn't under their control. So there's a chance that MIBR just pedal to the metal. Smash their way into this bomb site. Nisam, he's burned down to 52. Can't see Jack. And Turtle catches him on the fall away. Tog sliding through smoke. 46 HP to work with. And again, he's blind too. The flashes are fantastic. Wow. The killer instinct is there. And they get swept under the rug like a pile of dust. Damn. Talk about concrete. What an attack there from MIBR. Some, I think there might have been a team flash in there. Again. Again, yeah. But they're scaling flash. I heard we're running out of sand. I was reading the news the other day. They said we're running out. I said, go to the Sahara. Che, nice push. Oh, that's a ton of damage. Look what little's left. That's perfect for the USP cleanup. Joda. Lucky to be alive, in fact. We had bullets whizzing all over the place. What if Exit gets the entry? Could have done it for free, but that parting gift from Nisim is a pistol headshot. And now the CTs have a long road to where the bomb is inbound. Turtle could be the man of this round, as he's the only one left on health. Ooh, this just missed the timing by a half second. Exit kind of decides this round, doesn't he? Keeping it honed in. Oh. He, oh, he heard that step and chance. He steps away. My God. Ren over this Crane. One. Oh, nice second kill from JNT. Just ready. Willed it into existence. Five versus three. And again, with lesser weapons. So as long as the pistol players don't have to provide guns. Not in abundance, but I love the boost. Yeah. Perfectly timed, perfectly positioned. Oh. Oof, and DRG gets a freebie. So Sharks, they save a couple weapons and it nets them an easy eighth. Man, it's like they had no pistols at all. Didn't need them. Oh, this is the bomb. You remember that time Ooh, Exit yeah. got a 1v5? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yep. Yeah. Happened on Vertigo. Guy behind the orange box, that's his Did he end. Nah, dead. Oh. Togs love it. Wide open. There's the trade back. DRG, no smoke to get him out of here. He's just going to have to sit inside it. Hopes that a teammate puts it out. And in the nick of time, a single tick of damage more. And he is a dead. Hanny looking for the one in sight, expecting the jump up, calls it out. And this could be it. Togs. Up close and personal, point blank, catches back Henny, and the ramp players have yet to crest into the site itself. So all of a sudden, they contemplate options. Do they have to follow through? Do they want to smash this A site? With three, they can watch all choke points. Uh, the A push, the short push, and, and the ramp flank as well. So, well, oh, that could have been the one. Togs goes down. Kills and he needed them already. The moment he tries to press in here, Joda's going to shoot him in the side. If BRN doesn't do it himself, insta headshot and an instant ending once MIBR dealt with that A setup. 16 8 on Vertigo. Made easy. I love the fact that Sharks tried to take this challenge to them, but MIBR with a chance at a run to the fall finals absolutely deliver. They stand the test, and it'll be Nuke up next. Learn they can win Nuke. Took all 30 rounds to get one over complexity, but they did it. That was some fresh game tape for MIBR. Bro, the tenacity here from MIBR. They want to waste no time. Not theirs, not yours, not mine. Four players inside the double doors. DRG bound to find a headshot. Will plant also inevitable. But a nice flank from Che. Check that out. Oh, through the windows, down to the doorways, sends MIBR packing. You know what they say, protect your neck and watch your back. JNT, three seconds, Henny's gonna have to run at this. He hoped that maybe the sprint would get him off it, but no sir, 10 second defuse yet again. Yeah. They... My BR thought they had that pistol under wraps. With the pace that they hit the B site, now they've lost their solo AK. 
it'll be given to BRN instead. Nope. Turtle gets it. And Jota goes down for free. So this one looking like a nice, strong shark's start. <laughs> Lucky to be alive. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Slides through Che. Ooh, turtle. Now he's looking up. Look how, look how confident he is. Straight up the ladder. As I dare you. Try that again. Henny just grabbed an M4 as well. Mm, that's a good gun. One of the best. The best. OP. Now they're coming for him. Has it been so quiet? The caboose right oh. in front of it. Yeah. Well, I don't. Classic. Well, this, oh, they won't see it at classic. all. Classic. Huh? Oh my god, that's really cool. Oh, it's perfectly timed too. He's like kind of starting to think about other alternatives. <laughs> Woo, jump scare, but. And well, he also falls off the railing, so now the chance is slim. They'll go down to the B site instead. And go just go plant, maybe. What's down there? <laughs> Nisum playing Rainbow Six Siege. <laughs> peeking through the murder Ow. holes. That was fast. Beautiful. I mean, they didn't stand a damn chance. M4 picks him up. He's not playing safe. He's playing to rock him. And despite getting the dink, Jota gets the best of him. B site compromised, but at least there's rotators here already. Nisum on the railing. Beauty of a 2K, shuts down Turtle, shuffles his feet onto the back of Henny, and by the time he gets a chance to shoot, it's Che in the kill feed. BRN wrapping back around Hut, wow. saw another body. Tech Nine's in with a double. How and why and who? And it's early enough. It's early enough with the secret flank as well. I mean, if there are two good spots to come in from, but no bomb, it, it'd probably be this one. But the bomb's downstairs with the two CTs, and they know the CTs have rotated here. So this is info for the T side. So the, there's a there's a world where they both die in the site. It's not a right. It's winnable, but yeah. it's gonna be the you know 10 second squeeze. Bomb set on fire. You need the frags oh, okay. and almost, almost. Brn doesn't want to take the chance. He will sit back. Sharks convert it, but that tech nine. Yeah, not everyone fully invested. But Brn gets another kill. Maybe Working. they should just keep giving him guns. Yeah. But he then runs around the corner, not expecting Che to be ready for the fight. Don't pull doors off the hinges. Togs just throwing himself at it, and that's going to cause a problem. It's also going to cause a rotate, of which Jota would have heard. He's on high wow. alert. Tech 9 point blank freebie. And now Che squeezed from all directions as his entire team dies around him. How the hell is he going to pull this one back? Turtle toying with the corner gets deleted quickly, so that'll be at least something to work with. Bomb plant on the A site. Heisenberg occupied by Joda. So MIBR on the board. Turns out they don't need full Joda. line. Or at least just the early nades. DRG, killer instinct. Oh, awkward. Got caught on the ladder. Good recovery, but no fallback. BRN already threw with the double kill. It literally hit that ladder twice. It was grabbing him. Keep your hands off me. At least Togs can get the gun back, but it's still four versus three to the advantage of MIBR, and this is Sharks with the full investment. Oh, it's slime season. He's going to come up the ladder for the upstairs hit. Thing is that the only thing Sharks want right now is just a nice upstairs hit. Okay, they go outside. So this is why you want to, this is why teams try to tr get someone down vents early. Even though you can't really attack ramp, your rest of the teammates can't really join you. If you're down ramp early, you get to the vent, you stop the vent rotation, and you scare the hell out of the CTs. That's enough. You open up a site for later, like we have right now. And all Jota has to do is not die. And, now, and this is a no important part as well. They can leave him in the vent. Take over control Quickly side. Get on the JNT, bottom, yeah. but at least the smoke's there, so he can just slide into that, hold for a second, and then take his position back. Sure enough, still eyes on the gap towards Secret. CZ, well timed. Pushes right in, but BRN from the corner dies out to Che, an attack from above. And Sharks just mwah, perfection when it comes to the lobby crunch. They find MIBR with hands busy. They really do, and they're outside, so they're going to Looking like chumps breach this like it's CS Assault and try to come in through maybe the door and the roof or just the door. Jota and exit. 
What can they do? You wouldn't think much. The, not with 30 seconds. The bomb's not in the worst position ever, actually. Hut player stays tucked back in. They're giving the bomb over. Feels like their sights should fall to the A site. Oh, going forward is the play. It's literally just this hut player that's stopping them. Okay. Che can at least deliver both, okay. in fact. So there we go. All good. Four up for Sharks, and a round they have no business winning. Nice to see a little pro ferocious start from him. Love that. Pressing into the smoke grenades. JNT point blank op shot for the five versus four to Sharks. They're going to head towards ramp instead in response. We've got two CTs here, one close tucked. And Nisam, point of contact, serves up the distraction. DRG with the double. Spray transitions not quite there, but exit 62 health. And a 1v3 to still finish. There's no flank, so let's see if he can piece together the unthinkable. Yeah, there was a pretty wonderful hold right there. Plus, they stopped the fast Jota downstairs cross. They've been trying to get him there as quickly as possible. So, a couple of really shining moments here for, for the Sharks. Ooh. Well, he was defending this point of contact. So, what more can Exit do in this spot? It's just a 1v2 now with half HP. And Ramp he's player. actually looking back towards ramp for the rotation. <gasps> oh my god. Wow. Well, okay. he was thinking. He was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Good round from Togs. NT there. Slides in with the finisher. But that headshot, I could see it coming to fruition. Yeah. A fifth to Sharks. And the T side. Utility comes in from the rooftops. Down the vent they'll go. Or at least two do. Wow. <laughs> they caught the. They got the bomb down, and yeah, two players in with the oh. timing. And, oh, Nisam, he gives up an M4 right in the entrance. Because BRN was so far ahead oh, of the two players that they saw, Ow. catches him off, and Henny inside lobby. Oh, oh just what? the pistol. Come on. What? Two rifles down at the hands of a $300 sidearm. And he's out of there like Spider-Man. All the way up. Peter just parked on him. Two players just get absolutely smashed as they thought they were going to be allowed to walk Dead through hut. Right. Nobody wants to look like a chump. Ramp setup is a sole boost on top of boxes here with Nisum. No help. Oh, actually, player in hell. Perfect. <laughs> Two frags off the Fomus, but Joda's the guy to come through and bring them right back. He's got the bomb, so he can sit and watch the flank, but... They scare the rotate into the B site. He's trying to pull him towards Jota. Togs will wait in lobby. His two teammates down here on B. So, I mean, hell to heaven, completely open. MIBR seeing it now that they are here. Oh. And Henny, wow, just decides to swing out wider. Won't expect a second. No, sir. Jota, he also falls to Che. Who is Exit and co await. Mini wrap. Gets shut down by Togs first, and he falls downwards. Still got four players in the lobby about to attack this. Togs will not find a second. DRG's on the back site with just the SMG's got support up and above, but there's no commit from MIBR. They hold. Seems like it may have been a wise choice, actually. That was kind of a convincing attack that could have came on through Squeaky. But a measured reaction, actually, from Sharks. So, just passing the minute mark. Bomb now. Pendulum's around into Yard. Which is rather open. Yeah, and so Mini will, Mini will be a, a great place to attack. Top uh, site player will be in a trying position. And the guy who's actually... Oh, he's actually Fur. Oh, up yeah. and up and up and above. Yeah, up and up and up. M4 back site. Nicely done from DRG. Let's JNT hold what? for an extra second. I thought element of surprise, but instead BRN just texts him down. We've got the heaven push in just a second, but bomb is planted. Nisam bites his tongue and holds. Oh, an interesting post plant. They're floating, but there's no nades to dislodge him. Just this flash, which could be huge. Could be. They'll have to look away. 
Two flashes go in. Nisim about to extend. Finds one. BRN still up, but didn't expect that Che comes from Mini. He, he threw the flash. You would have seen the trajectory. Yeah. Very, Did very, very quickly. Just racking up the rounds on map two. Che, straight. Oh! <laughs> two players, point blank. He doesn't even get the closest. Turtle's going to give him a taste of his own medicine, but hell of an opening from Che. How did he forget about Jota right there? He's shooting so many bullets. You know, you always leave one alive so that he can tell his friends about what he saw. Oh, what a st oh that just makes yeah. me think of Che as a sick, sick man now. Psychological warfare. Wow. Absolute killer. Jota? Wow, a nice adjustment. That's last bullet. It's like you get compromised. Oh. Turtle comes in through mini. It's DRG to deliver yet again. He could line him up. Grenade out. Error. <laughs> and exit. He's got the tray. <laughs> Syntax error. <laughs> All right. Nisim. They have no clue where he has been or where he could be or where he will go. Oh! He spotted the other. Oh, but... The Molotov, that's big. It actually forces him down. The awkward part about this rotation is they heard the ladder, you know? He, th he knows that they... Wait, no, he doesn't know. Okay. Well, he still makes the right play anyways and just decides to go upper sight, so... Planting front sight. What? Dude. Now that's psychotic. Jota's got big ones. But now he's set up a really good post plant where he can wrap around a squeaky. That is mental. Nisim's going to have to cross it thinking, odds are back sight. But then when he sees bomb front... That should indicate lobby. Oh, he almost had a chance, but Jota... Smoking the sight with the flash. Nice him up above it. Oh, looks towards Astralis plant and finds BRN, but Turtle shoots him through the floorboards. JNT is going to creep this one nice and close. He's going to hear the rotate back away from Bomb. Sees that sight is indeed completely clear. But what about the secret push? Two players down it. DRG and Che ready for the gunfight. Oh, easy wow. line up there, but what about Henny now? He's gonna slide out, catches Che to the side. Man advantage sharks. Ooh, and Henny comes through. The body flies forward, and Henny then gets caught out by Togs. Now exit comes from ramp, and JNT tapping bomb forces him to exit. So sharks retake for nine. Exit probably wanted to get to Vent. I think that was his rotation with the bomb. On the backside plant. If Henny kills the guy point blank, how does the ragdoll move towards him? I can't. I didn't even look like Did he you got that, that kill from my perspective. Early? You know what I mean? I was like, oh, that's confidence and evidence as well that it would have been the formula. But uh, suddenly, Sharks leaning on Che and his 19 kills so far. Drops the fire at the feet of the push. We got three T's coming at him. Turtle's got the trade kill, but they immense amounts of damage the to ball. deal with. Peek out from ramp. That's Nisim to get the next one. And Henny, all of a sudden, on his own. Bomb is still back by Vents, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's interesting because, well, they left it. All right, well, there's a couple of flights that could take place. Of course, starting with this one. No way, DRG can't grab exit, but it does a significant amount of damage. It's Togs up next. Exit, high alert. Wow. Oh, I don't even know. Must have been a bad counter strafe. That was I love that looking like right moves. on his head. He's just waiting for that peak to come from ramp again. Why not play retake? Final round of the half. So just make sure you don't give them a chance to break through. BRN full health. Henny, couple flashes and six measly points of HP. We got two and now three from Sharks towards ramp. And JNT wastes no time. Finding that first headshot, but the door's off its hinges, and BRN's position is now known. Both players take from the top rope. One falls back sight. Predicted and dealt with. Wow. BRN, he's on for the one versus three to give MIBR what would be a critical fifth round. Sees that the defuse isn't being stuck, and ladies and gentlemen, it's a clutch to close. Five rounds at least for MIBR. They'll take what they can get, but it is still Sharks with, side with the Molotov head towards ramp. We got Henny on the receiving end with BRN in the corner. Ooh, that nade was massive, but Che is still able to catch the headshot, and a quick sprint to the B site means control for Sharks. Jota tries to get ahead of it.
door swung point blank, and Che finds another kill. Critical one at that. It gives just enough space for the bomb to go down before Turtle and Exit can attempt this retake. They peek. They offer up those frags. Oh, Both damn. Spotted. They line oh, up. The duelies come out. Exit running outwards. Oh, and JNT point blank pops it so that Sharks take 11. And needed that kill right there, man. Those do. Flashes all over. They're going to hone in on him, but he just dropped the bomb and did a substantial amount of damage on the follow-up. Hut door compromised. BRN presses in. And we get kills going the way of Sharks, but the 5-7 connects, and there's so little left of two of these three. Mini player spotted. Whoa. AK nabbed. Exit sliding back. They didn't get down the vent. They don't know where Henny is. Maybe they're working. Okay, now they're starting to drop. Does Henny beat them there? He's sitting on the ramp watching the cross. Gotta hit this with the scout. Imagine. Easy oh. first one. And the to stick this plant, and it goes down. Can he recover with the gun? He's ready for the rush. Henny's chopped off. Nine health for Che as he hunts the 13 HP on exit. And he's gone. Back around the vents. CT slips out onto the site, no kit, gets on top of it, knife is out, and Che is slowly starting to work his way down, but he's not gonna bite, he's not gonna budge, oh. and it costs him! MIBR, the 10 second stick! Oh, the f Che wastes no time, catches Joda off entirely. There it is. Slides right through, b site under question, turtle into the vents. Ooh, catches the follow-up, but JNT's got the trade train rolling, and Che, again, just so far forward that BRN doesn't see it coming. One-man army, 26 and seven to try and get Sharks back into this map. Or rather, Hold this is the ramp peak. He's been found out, puts himself into cover, catches the kill towards ramp, now it's BRN's turn. Oh, that's so much damage. There's still a chance for Turtle. He's going to peek out, stops JNT in the back, togs up front, 10 seconds, grabs Bomb, Ugh. gets into the cover and can commit. However, low health and a nade with his name on oh, it. He... Oh, wait, did he? Okay. Wow. Exit has yet to thrown it. Now he's been given a chance. Now he could get away from what would have been a guaranteed nade. Uh, Maybe oh. they don't know about the damage. They're creeping up on his right-hand side. Grenade takes away three HP, and Togs is still fighting. He catches Turtle, and Exit's got him pinned into the corner. A couple shots, and Togs is down. Time continues to tick. He hits the ground just beneath, and there it is. Exit finds it, but holy hell. Honestly, they played that so bad. <laughs> From both sides, that was really strange. The amount of, like, when that bomb goes down. Turtle blocks off Squeaky. DRG's going to keep creeping closer. Oh, hey there, neighbor. DRG's 10 health as he turns to have a fair fight is dropped back. Neeson will get the trade, though, so finally something going the way of Sharks, but is it too late, BRN? Oh, just gets around the corner. JNT had heard him drop off, so he was chasing it, but didn't expect Joda to come up from the bottom of ramp, so pulled in two directions. That's a situation where it's actually good to run rotations. Like a torture rack. Turtle. Your racing chair. <laughs> Keeping it honed in, but Nisam hits the headshot. Nade destined for him, and it falls on Togs. Clean first and a second, but he doesn't oh. know. He doesn't know that Joda's in the rafters. So MIBR within one. That was close. It's going to be a flash towards ramp at least. Some pops into the A site. CT's put out the threats, and they hang on to the squeaky push, but it is very much ramp under question, and they get beyond the op. Two CT's towards hell, but they don't stop sharks from getting downstairs. Ooh, control is held on to. That could have been the moment. Joda, if he dies, gives them the M4. They had multiple bodies here in position, ready to go. And Nisim could still steal the show. He's lost his teammates, and he gets a second frag, but Joda from beyond the grave to tie the game at 12. That is a steam achievement. MIBR five straight. He's are within on. that A site. Nisim's starting to think about dropping B. They can. They have health control as well, so there's no ramp rotations at all. It's on Henny. He's lower. Oh, he hits it. Togs down. 15 seconds. No one's crossed. They can go control side on him, though. Oh! oh. Finds Nisim point blank, and Henny, despite being pinned in this corner, is still hanging on. Finally, somebody gets him down. JNT has to commit to plant. 
Joda attacks, denies the bomb, and even though Chase still fighting, it's 13 MIVR. Uh, primo target selection, just enough for a mini team. smoke at least. Oh, and Turtle gets killed off the push through Squeaky. Che will have a chance to face in sight. Fights above, BRN gets the best of him, drops immediately down into the hut. Exit can lean in the back sight. Ooh, keep your guns out. Togs, he's gonna find the answer, but they forgot about Exit. Didn't know that he could still be standing there, and now they've got it back. Henny is nowhere to be found. His teammates have fallen. Sharks sink their teeth into the A site. Damn, okay, well they make that happen. The turtle kill is the most important. The, the lobby push that yeah, was happening. The B site awaiting this commitment. Decides to peek out. Ooh, he'll get fined by Nisim. And we have now the control player at bat. He sees a couple, cuts down one. Both bodies confirmed. Turtle swings it, runs right through smoke, and Togs is gonna end him. But, yeah, you try to plant that bomb in front of door and Exit's got your number. Togs into the clutch. Two kills already, needs another double. And he only has 20 seconds to figure this one out. Decon's actually now cleared, not that he knows it. Oh, he runs the risk, and he gets away with it. Bomb is planted. Missed shot from Henny. That's both CTs now confirmed. But as he goes back to the fight, Exit wins it. Wow. And MIBR, two chances to close out this series. Yeah, he got he got the info off the second guy. You know, Opshot gets missed, and there's actually a chance where he knows he now can turn his back to Decon and potentially use it later in the clutch, but he can't win his first duel. A chance to push this to map three. Instead, MIBR five, now four, kills away. Well, they know Turtle's here a lot. That's something. DRG awaits him. Smoke fades, who picks up the win. Oh, Turtle able to hold off and incendiary on the feet of Che. A second for Turtle in the pocket. And now the desperation starts to sink in. The sad reality of the situation is Sharks upset versus complexity. Their hopes ever higher. And now they've been denied. MIBR, a 16-13 win after a comeback from a strong first half. Sharks, they did it on the defense, but that T-side simply didn't have enough juice behind it. And so we will unfortunately say goodbye to the Sharks.